Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. Um, WWE, after Monday Night Raw, is going to be having a live Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast. Um, they're actually be sitting down at the booth. Um, they're going to be at Monday Night Raw, which... I'm not sure where Raw is going to be on Monday. I, I, I thought I should know. But I, I'm not 100% sure on where it's going to be. Um, but it's going to be an interview um, with The Big Show, um, who has been on the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast in the past. Um, it was when Stone Cold Steve Austin went to Monday Night Raw when it was being held at the Staples Center. Um, and he went on Big Show's bus. Um, and he sat down in, in the bus and he was sitting in there for a while to the point where he thought that Big Show had forgotten about uh, the interview and uh, when he was sort of getting flustered and getting to the point where he was actually going to leave, Big Show came out of the bathroom from dropping a Big Show. And that ended up being a big part of the podcast. If you don't remember, um, it was a while ago. It was during the first year of the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast. But I will give it to you that it really was a really good interview. Um, when it comes down to it, Big Show is a guy that was has a lengthy career going back all the way until about 1995. I'm um, debuting in WCW, um, working for them all the way until I believe 1999 when he would jump over um, and be a part of the uh, the WWF uh, during the Attitude Era explosion of about around WrestleMania 15 when WWE was really trying to you know knock it out on all cylinders. It was the Big Show and it was uh, Chris Jericho who sort of came over. Um, Right as the tide was really swinging to the factor of WCW was never going to come back. Um, maybe you could say that Big Show um, had a lasting career, but maybe at the end of it, it's not what it should have been. Um, a lot of people look and say that Vince McMahon should have booked Big Show a lot more like Andre the Giant. Um, but I think that it's a changing time right now. I mean, when Andre the Giant was around, uh, Vince McMahon had weekly television, but Andre the Giant was a guy who might have done an interview here or there, but definitely never wrestled on free television. Um, but for Big Show, this is a guy that had to go out there on Monday Night Raw, uh, as well as once uh, you know WWF expanded to having SmackDown. He's wrestling on television twice a week, as well as on pay per views. Um, you you can't have this guy you know going on huge winning streaks like Andre the Giant, who you know it was said um, wrestled for WWF for 13 years before losing a match to Hulk Hogan uh, at WrestleMania three. But I, I, I'm sure that Austin and Big Show can sit down for another interview. Definitely some things are going to be repeated, but there's definitely some stories um, that I wish, you know, Austin would sort of dive into. I think when it comes down to it, we all know the style of inter the interview that Stone Cold Steve Austin has. More than likely with the Stone Cold podcast, the Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to spend some time talking about Big Show's bus. I'm um, talking about the fact that if, if Stone Cold Steve Austin probably would have thrown down the money, got himself a tour bus to drive from town to town, it could have added more years onto his career um, from having to be you know cramped into those airline seats or cramped into a uh, a rental car um, driving from town to town. Um, I don't think Big Show was the first guy to ever really think of this, but uh, sort of Big Show is one of the guys that WWF sort of took advantage of um, you know, highlighting this on his DVD um, when it came out, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't a, a giant's world, I think is what this is called. But uh, I mean, there, there's things I wish, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin would talk about sort of um, Vince McMahon courting a big show. I think everybody has known there was some sort of insider's trading of um, Vince McMahon getting in um, Big Show's ear uh, while he was wrestling as the Giant, um, basically almost signing a contract with WWF a year before his contract was even done in WCW. A lot of people know that um, Big Show got into professional wrestling because of Hulk Hogan. Um, Hulk Hogan is the guy who basically opened the doors, brought um, the, the Giant into WCW, even put over the Giant, um, giving him the, uh, the, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship in his first ever um, match, um, which sort of really opened the door and made this guy a main eventer right off the bat. You know, never um, would you ever see this ever happen in today's style of professional wrestling. With it seems like Vince making guys come in, if if even if they aren't having to pay their dues at the bottom, um, you know, trading wins and losses before they decide to make somebody a superstar. 
definitely guys never come in and go directly to the main event. Um, they, they sort of have to, you know, if they're going to go on a winning streak, they always sort of fight a guy at the bottom and work their way from the bottom to the top. It's sort of like making a guy work for it and actually see what's going to be going down. If you talk about the highlights um, of Big Show's career, this guy has basically won every championship um, that WWF, uh, WWE has to offer. We've seen Big Show as the hardcore champion. We've seen him as the U.S. champion. We've seen him as the the world heavyweight champion, the WCW, ECW, um, you know, the WWE title. Um, he's done just about everything they can do. Um, I think it's going to be hard for them to get there, but I would love to see Big Show talk about his time uh, as a, an actor um, with him starring in Jingle All the Way, which I watch at each and every Christmas, uh, which, of course, is Sinbad and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, and uh, a Big Show plays uh, the, the giant Santa who uh, basically uh, kicks Arnold Schwarzenegger's ass in there. And definitely want to hear about Captain Insano from The Water Boy. Um, those are two two highlights that I honestly would really love um, to hear about from his time in, in acting. Maybe Austin would even make fun of the, the straight-to-DVDs uh, sort of things that he would have done. Um, I would love to see Big Show actually sit down and talk about the angle that went down at WrestleMania 24 between Big Show and Floyd Mayweather. Um, with Floyd Mayweather breaking the Big Show's nose at the Royal Rumble, and then Big Show actually... Being able to be physical with Mayweather, throwing him around at the WrestleMania match, but then doing the job at the end of the day. And and just hear the stories of what it's like for Big Show. I'm sure this guy doesn't, you know, live the, the most easiest life. I've I've ran into him, um, you know, just you know, walking around and, and he's a hard guy to miss. But honestly, from fans meeting Big Show, I've honestly never heard one bad story about somebody meeting Big Show, whether if it was, you know, at a hotel, whether if it was at a subway, at a breakfast place. Um, I, I've heard it from just about any of my friends that Big Show always um, is is very polite to all of his fans. I think he understands that, uh, you know, they're the ones that buy the tickets, that put the money in his pockets at the end of the day. And uh, he's just one of those really, really great guys, um, you know. He gets a hard rap these days because Big Show's been around so long that you hear fans chant, please retire. And and honestly, you know, when Big Show comes out or Kane comes out on Monday Night Raw, he is sort of a guy that I sort of grunt and just say, ah, man. But he is, he is really a guy that should have more of a relaxed schedule um, where maybe you see this guy work a two-month angle. You take him off a of TV for six months. Um, if, if you want to sort of prolong his career, I think that would sort of mean something. You know, Big Show was involved in the Intercontinental title feud um, with Ryback and The Miz. That was sort of fun. But, but then, you know, you think about all the times when Big Show was was fighting the fights for the authority. You know, he came out there every week with, with Triple H and Kane. And I think everybody grunted all at the same time. And I think you can hear the whole world just sort of saying, uh. But uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be a weird place. You think about it, the three big giants that, that uh, Vince has right now, Big Show, Kane, and Undertaker, they're really all on their last leg. I mean, this is this is their last go-around. We've been saying this for years, but uh, they can't go forever. And sooner than later, it's going to be done. And, and Big Show had one hell of a career. He'll ride off into the sunset going into the WWE Hall of Fame and uh, be one of the nicest guys they've ever had. So I'll check this out on Monday. Hope you guys are looking forward to it, because I know I am. Peace out, everybody.